I want to introduce myself. I'm Michael Cook. I'm the owner proprietor of this little operation that you see in here. This is just one of the, say like maybe 10 or 12 fields that I do here. We farm from here all the way up Martin Luther King and down Industrial Drive. We've got places over here by WCFNN, but I'm going to talk about this place now. Uh, we spent a lot of time over, I bought this place probably about 2004. Prior to that, I was renting it. And uh, there's a lot of variability that goes on out here. If you walk through this field, and I'm sure Bob will show you this, there's uh, uh, sand, there's good soil, and it's just variable. Um, we bought this place, like I said, back in 2004, and we tilled the devil out of it because that's just basically all we knew was till the soil, get it good and smooth, and then plant it. Well, over time, I noticed that the yields were going down and the expenses were going up. So then I started exploring other things like no-till, and now I'm starting to look at some of the uh, cover cropping uh, scenarios to try to reduce that. I'm in a nutrient reduction program. I have been for a while with the USDA, thanks to some good advice I got from the head of the USDA, Schaefer Ridgeway. He's been out here quite a few times. I think the first time he was out here, I just wanted to kick him off the plate because <laughs> I didn't want to hear any of that. But uh, now I'm... Uh, kind of forced to do that because being a small operation I want to do whatever it takes to continue to reduce my cost, my input costs and increase yields at the same time. So that's the purpose of what we're doing here today and Bob will get into that. Um, I started farming with my dad years ago probably back in the 60s and uh, I've been affiliated with farming ever since. I left uh, back in the 70s to go to college and get my mechanical engineering degree. And I told him when I left, I'd never pull with farms again. So don't worry about me, sell the land, forget about it. But uh, somehow or another, I think this stuff is in my blood. So I'm in trouble. I got to do this the rest of my life like he did. So uh, here I am. So uh, welcome to our place. We're glad to have you out here. If you need anything, let us know. And now I'm going to turn this over to Bob Recker.